All right, guys, I'm super excited. We're out here today with my brother. We're gonna head for an overnighter. We're gonna set up camp. We're gonna cook some lunch, and then we're gonna throw around some sharp shit. This should be an awesome night. Yeah, we're off to a good start, baby. Guys, here we are at camp. That old hammock chair. It's just about had the bun. Uh, all the all the all the bark's peeling off, and I got mushrooms growing on it. But we're gonna use that as firewood tonight. We'll make another one in the future. There's the old uh, tripod. Tarp got torn down. Somebody tore it down, or blew down, or maybe a deer ran through it. I don't know. But uh, we're gonna take care of that. That's gonna come home with us tonight. And uh, we got some setting up to do. So. Let's see what's in that pack and get to work. That's brutal. That's brutal oh, lovely. Sorry guys, on the last overnighter, uh, we, I used the uh, Priya tarp, cell tarp. Really awesome tarp, I love it. Um, but I've been trying it out with the two tie outs on the very ends and uh, with no ridge line. And I was having a little bit of trouble. Um, well, it's not really trouble, it's set up nice, but it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't as tight as I like it. So, this time I'm going to try it with a ridge line, see which one I like better. Um, and uh, I'll probably spread out the top part just to have some, uh, have a little bit of shelter there, but um, it is supposed to get cold tonight, so I'm going to want to bring that right down and hopefully keep some heat in uh, while the temperature drops down below 5 degrees this morning, Celsius. So, let's get to it. Give you a quick look here, all my brothers over there cutting wood. This is what camp's gonna look like tonight. It's gonna be awesome. Sorry guys, we're just about to finish uh, setting up camp and um, finishing up a piece of jerky too. Really good, the nuggets are the way to go. So, um, if you're wondering what that knife was that I was throwing around at the beginning of the video, this is that Hudson Bay Camp Knife. It's the first time I've actually uh, had it out uh, since I uh, did those little mods on it. But I'll tell you what, the handle is considerably heavier now. So I'm wondering if that's going to uh, adjust the uh, adjust how this how this puppy throws around. Because uh, all in all, this is a real shit knife. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it at all. There was a lot about it that I didn't like. But I'll tell you what, if you like getting woo, that sounds bad. If you like getting out and throwing throwing knives around from time to time, this thing throws like a boss. And when it hits, it's almost like hitting with an axe because there's so much weight to it. Whack! It's awesome. Anyway, we're gonna clear out this area, finish setting up uh, my brother's tarp. And then uh, we're going to get some firewood and we're going to get some lunch going. It's going to be good. Little tiny bit of birch bark there. Not gonna need too much. And unfortunately, the knife that I brought with me today isn't very good at uh, at uh, striking a ferro rod. But I got a Nathan uh, 4071 uh, Sasquatch here, and we're just gonna use the uh, the blade of the uh, good old Gomboy. So here we go. Smalls on there. Fire's lit. So uh, we got a good, uh, good uh, amount of split wood there. That's going to catch up nice. Create a nice bed of coals, and we're going to cook some lunch. We are both uh, getting real hungry. Check this out. This is the grill <clears throat> that we're going to be cooking supper on tonight. It's made by a Canadian company out in Ontario whoops and uh, anyway it's kind of like a transformer check this out so you fold it up right now you got your whole grill pop out the legs and 
then once you got it all set up and if you've got a really big meal to cook you extend it out and that's your that's your whole grill which is basically double what we were using before uh, with the pog glue. And because it has four points, instead of having a U-shaped leg, it's going to be more sturdy instead of having it always rock back and forth. So it should be pretty cool. That one's all squished. So all right, now that our sausages are cooking on the fire, we're gonna wanna chop some vegetables up, get some butter in this pan, and we're gonna fry up some, uh, some uh, red peppers and green peppers for our sandwiches. So, let's take this guy, we'll move him over here. We'll start with the red pepper. So I've been using this Groma number three army for a little while now. Um, I've done a lot of kitchen work with it, uh, I've done uh, kitchen work. I've done a little bushcraft with it, but I found it weird at first the, the shape of the handle If you could see that here. Hold on a second if You can see the shape of that handle. It's kind of different Right now. I'm not used to holding a knife like this, but when I'm cutting uh, in in a traditional direction or I'm bringing it back towards myself This knife is very very controllable this handle is really really comfortable um, but I really haven't really put it through its paces yet, uh, like you know, splitting wood and doing that kind of thing. But um, so far, I'm really like this uh, this Groman. Uh, it's made out of C70 carbon steel. Uh, it takes a really nice edge quite easily, and um, this thing is an absolute beast in the kitchen. Now, even if uh, I'm not going to use this for bushcraft, it's going to go right in beside my uh, my meat fork as part of my my eating kit because this is a uh, eating and cooking kit. This thing is awesome. Coffee time. Just eyeball it. I like my coffee strong. Fill it on up. Well, we got the uh, sausages and the uh, peppers cooking over there. We're gonna uh, prepare this while our coffee's getting ready. So. guy in there and some peppers we dress those up with a little bit of sour cream oh that's probably something I should have done would have been a good idea to stick this on and get this bun toast a little bit but I'm so hungry I can't wait maybe I'll get through half of it and do the do that with the rest this guy flipped over This guy is ready for a press. I don't know how much is left in here. So it's around 4.30 p.m. Uh, we're just going to have this quick coffee as a, as a kind of pick me up and then we're going to um, uh, We're going to have to hit the, hit the firewood pretty hard if we're going to want to stay up and enjoy a fire tonight And uh, get a little bit of coals that are keep us warm So uh, we're going to enjoy this coffee and then get to work And then hopefully uh, a little bit later We'll uh, get to throw that knife around a little bit and then uh, cook some dinner Oh yeah 
right here I have available to us. We found this uh, beautiful chunk of beach here. It's uh, super, super dry, super, super hard. Like this is like as hard as it gets. It's even hard to cut with a brand new silky uh, gomboy blade. It uh, doesn't want any part of it and it resists quite a bit. But with this kind of quality hardwood that we can have for our, uh, for our fire and for our night, we'll be nice and toasty warm until we're ready to go to bed and then it won't be a problem at all. But you should see this, this is like your dream wood if you can find this in the woods. See what I mean? Some serious work right there. That's one piece. The wood is ridiculous. Sorry guys, you can see the uh, nice pile of, uh, of wood we got there. It's nothing huge, but the, uh, the wood is so dense and hard. It burns so hot. We won't even need all that much. I mean, we're just gonna throw a little piece on by piece by piece and see how it goes, but we should be fine. So for the time being, we're just gonna do a quick cleanup around camp. Uh, start thinking about uh, finding a tree to hang our bag from and then uh, and then pretty much I guess it's just gonna be uh, piling wood on there relaxing a little bit and maybe we could throw that knife around in a couple of seconds just for a little bit of fun let's do that now actually all right so I'm sure I'm gonna get some kind of questions about how to throw one properly what to do blah 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 I really don't know I'll tell you what I do is I take five paces from the tree and then I throw it at the tree and sometimes it sticks that's it <laughs> that's all I got for you the only thing I can tell you is that when I do throw it I try not to you know just from archery I try not to release it intentionally I just try to let it slip slip out of my hand so it has a a more natural flight I guess but that's about it that's all I could say so I'm gonna get my first throw in here and uh, you can watch me embarrass myself There we go. There's a nice stick. There we go. All right, I'm gonna move this camera over, see if we can get a good shot of it landing. There we go. Now, I never knew this, but Falcon even came out with the DC4. I bought that one. Works very good. Actually, I think I even have it on me today. Um, but that one has a coarse on one side and a fine on the other, or a medium to fine. Um, this one is the CC4. This one has a ceramic top with an ultra fine. And then you got the medium to fine on the back, just like the one on the DC4. Now, I've been sharpening my knives quite a bit lately with this little guy, from uh, large knives to small knives, carbon, stainless steel, works fantastic. Now, apparently, you don't need to put anything on them. You don't need any water. You don't need any oil, nothing. And all you have to do from time to time is when it gets dirty, just give it a quick wipe off and you can rub a little soap or water onto it, whatever you want to do just to get rid of that gunk. And it comes right off and it's right back to cutting, cutting fantastic. Now, I've had some, I've had some, um, 
some knives come back from pretty from pretty gnarly edges with little chips and rolls with this thing and it cuts really really well and gets a knife uh, primed right back now once you're done using this guy you can simply just tuck him away back into his pouch and then you can use the back of this as a strop but I prefer when I'm out in the field and I don't have uh, something on me I use the the welt of my knife uh, my knife sheath I'll bring it in close and show you how I do that all right so that nice smooth bit on the back of your knife sheath when you want to uh, when you want to uh, strop your knife just simply find your angle and drag it along the back and that'll strop out your knife blade quite nicely just make sure don't make an error and cut into it otherwise you're gonna put a pretty nasty wound into your sheath but in a pinch when you want to clean up and refine off an edge after uh, sharpening it in the field your welt of your knife can be handy when you don't want to carry a strop with you see how we are here look at that that's coming off no problem well there you have it razor sharp with the CC4 and then stropped up with the welt of your knife sheath So one of the most important pieces of gear you could bring with yourself into the woods is a good decent pair of leather gloves. Now I use them for cooking all the time. You just reach right in that fire, place your food wherever you want, not have to worry about getting burned. You're pretty much protected with them. You can flip over your coffee spit anytime you want with them. It uh, just works out great. And just a, a quick pro tip, put a little rivet on the back end of your gloves. You can pinch those together, hang them off your pack with a carabiner. All right, so I'll give you the lowdown here. We've got a couple of uh, beef turnitos over there. We've got some bacon in the pan that we're going to chop up and use as bacon bits to put into those baked potatoes with a little bit of cheese and sour cream, and then. We got all these bad boys chilling on the coffee spit right now, doing their thing. But uh, tomorrow, we are going to get back into this grill again, and we're going to make uh, eggs, bacon, and uh, make some sandwiches on this bad boy while getting a coffee perkin. So, should be fun. All right, so the potatoes feel good and ready to go. We're just going to cut open one of these uh, one of these turnitos and have a look, see how they're doing. Let's do that fork. But I think we're probably even well done. Yep. Overcooked. Overcooked in my opinion. Just right for my brother. So there's our all dressed baked potato. Let's go get some meat. Hard to see me. This stupid thing shining down. But let's see if we can uh, get a bite and give you a peek before I shut that camera off and just eat like a pig. Let's see. Ah, totally overdone. Look at that. Uh, it's probably hard to see there, but looks totally overdone. See how it tastes though. Mmm. Told you those things were good. Mmm. <laughs> super tasty, super tender. Tons of flavor. So, meat's a little overdone. Baked potato is totally on point with them, with some strong cheddar cheese in there, some bacon bits, and some uh, sour cream. Have a look at that. That is just crazy. Well, that is the brightest light I've ever ever seen in my life. All I see is this blaring thing just killing me in the face. But anyway, I just wanted to say it's getting way too dark now. I can barely even film I, either that or I have to look right at this, uh, this this killer light here, which is burning my eyeballs out. But so I think what I'm going to do is I want to say goodnight for now. I'm going to drink this last beer. I'm going to throw a couple more logs in the fire, just relax out here for the, for the time being, and then uh, then we'll end up going to bed. So uh, I'll probably say goodnight <laughs> for now. 
maybe I'll see you back again inside the hammock real quick as uh, saying goodnight, but uh, that'll be pretty much it for now. It's just way too dark and I really don't like that light. So, we're awake, got the fire going, got our coffees boiling, we're getting there anyway. And uh, anyway, it was a decent night, a lot of guys are hunting out there tonight, uh, today. But uh, it was a decent night, uh, got a little cold at times. Uh, I only had two beers, but I think I got up to pee about 14 of them, which was kind of annoying. Every time I got out, you're, you get out and you're, you're cold, and then you hop back in and you have to warm everything up again before you fall back asleep, so lesson learned. We'll stick to maybe one beer or no beer when we're out here next time. Okay, we'll stick to one beer. But uh, anyway, strange thing happened last night. Uh, well, we uh, just, just got into our hammocks, fire burnt down. We had everything, uh, everything all kind of <laughs> spread out. Um, picked up, cleaned up, ready to go. And sure enough, four guys I hear crunching down this way. Crunch, 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 talking back and forth. Oh my God, no, we got some people coming over here. It's pitch black outside. I'm already tucked in my hammock, in my hammock, in my sleeping bag. So as I see them pop around the corner right beside here, I can look through the, the outside of my tarp and I see four guys. One of them's got a rifle. So now I'm like, uh-oh. You know, it's pitch black, the guys are walking around, they don't even have flashlights on. Turns out, it's like uh, four guys <coughs> that probably were hunting. And they were using their flash, their uh, cell phones as flashlights. I guess they left a little bit late and were, didn't know how to get back to the street. So uh, the guys like, oh, I'm like, yeah, hello, uh, you know, what's going on type thing? And the guy's like, oh man, uh, we're lost, can you tell me how to get back to the trail? Yeah, easy peasy, man. <laughs> Give them directions and go. But that that feeling of having somebody wander into your camp in the middle of the dark, I really don't like it. I know it sounds kind of funny, you know, like, you know, people are people. But I worry more about people out here than I do out in the, uh, <laughs> than the wild animals, let me tell you. Well guys, I'm kind of sad. I built this cooksa, carved this cooksa out, I guess about uh, maybe three years ago. And I use it often on my camping trips because even the size of it is actually quite light. It's probably lighter than stainless steel <laughs> being this big and clunky. But uh, I don't know if you can see that right in the front there. I got a little crack on it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on using it though. I don't really care about the crack it's the only coffee I drink out of this thing anyway but hopefully it'll uh, it won't spread too far and uh, maybe I can head out sometime sometime soon and maybe carve, carve another one Go, buddy. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna jippy out of yoke. All right, guys, there's breakfast. Now, just to pick which one's gonna be devoured first. We've cooked all our meals on that bitty big queue uh, this weekend or the, this overnighter. This is our third meal on this guy, and it's really, really uh, versatile. You raise it up, lower it down, you can cook on a narrow cooking surface or a really wide cooking surface. Um, I mean, we had. Uh, four English muff muffins, four slices of bacon, and a, and a couple of eggs frying on that thing at the same time. And uh, it worked out great. We got our coffee started on it. We cooked, we cooked um, some, uh, what was it, turnitos we had on there last night? We had some turnitos on there. And uh, for lunch, we had some Italian sausages on there. 
I mean, there's so much you can do with these things. And uh, the only knock I think I can give it is, is the weight. It is quite heavy. So for those of you that are out looking for, uh, looking to cut weight in their pack, this is probably not the good best choice for you. But besides that, it checks all other boxes. Packs down compact. And there's a couple of options of carrying this thing, I think, uh, depending on how you want to do it. But you can fold it up into that little small package like I showed you in the beginning. Or you can open it up flat with the legs in, slide that down the back of your pack and just put it into some other stuff sack to keep your pack clean. Maybe even a plastic bag would work, but all that aside, Bitty Big Q has got two thumbs up for me. That thing. I gotta get a nice stuff sack for this guy. Although it does, uh, it does uh, compress really easily. I could really reduce the size of this inside of the pack and it really wants to puff up every time, which is why it's such a good insulator. Anyway, we're gonna pack all this stuff up nice and slowly, get everything all uh, packed up and get ready to go. Uh, I did hear some hunters out there this morning, so I am gonna put on the orange hat so that, uh, hey, chocolate brown hidden woodsman backpack doesn't make me look like a big uh, white tailed deer's ass and get shot so here we go let's pack around. Sorry guys, we're all packed up, ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this uh, this vid and the uh, the couple of new pieces of gear that I got. Um, I think uh, you might like that grill. All things considered, it's a fantastic grill. Very versatile. You can change your heat by stuffing stuff under it or you can just drop it down closer to the coals if you want to. Packs up easy, packs up small. Uh, again, it would be great if there was a titanium version of that so you can really knock off some weight. Uh, but besides that, the, the grill is perfect. Um, longevity wise, we'll just have to see, but you know how I like to cook and you're gonna be seeing that uh, grill in a lot more of my videos uh, going, going on forward. So, I got my uh, big Hidden Woodsman Deep Woods Ruck on my back. I'm all packed up. I got some orange hanging off the back and I got an orange hat on because when you're walking around with a big brown hump on your back during deer season, you might get shot. Wear your orange. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Get on Explore. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you like these outdoor camping videos, I'm going to go ahead and attach a few more up here. Like the time I cooked a whole chicken over the fire. That was a great time. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Get on Explore and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Take care.